What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Today is Friday, I believe. And I uh, got two trade-ins to show you guys from this morning so far. Um, it is 12.32, and uh, <clears throat> Abby was extremely tired. She went to bed actually a little bit before me last night, and even I went to bed kind of early. Uh, fell asleep at around midnight. Normally, we fall asleep around 2. And uh, so I'm very, very rested, but she was still tired this morning. Um, so she's sleeping in for another couple hours, and then she's going to be coming in. So she should be here any minute. So let's take a look at our first two trade-ins. So this was the first one here. We have a disc-only copy of Super Smash Brothers Melee. It came inside this case, um, so this one is not in there. Then we have Super Monkey Ball for GameCube, God of War Saga for PS3, and the Sly Collection for PS3. Then also a blue Game Boy Advance SP. It's a little bit dirty, um, a little scratched up, but the inside looks okay. And then we have a black DS Lite, which looks pretty good. The hinges are all good on it. So that was the first trade-in. Second one here, we got uh, Wind Waker for the GameCube with a memory card. The guy that traded this in actually bought this from us. And uh, it must not have been too long ago, but he called earlier and he's like, so well, I just want to know what your t return policy was. And I told him, you know, if you have seven days with games, if anything is damaged or defective, to bring it back for an exchange or store credit. And he's like, oh, okay, well then, how much do you pay for Wind Waker? <laughs> so he bought this from us, he beat it, and then sold it back to us because obviously we're not going to take a return because he beat the game. Um, but pretty cool stuff. That's a good little start to our trade-ins for the day. And I've been working on getting the other stuff here entered into a spreadsheet. So all this stuff is done. I've got a bunch of memory cards and stuff here that we've had um, for a while. They were just in this tub of other random stuff. So I'm going to get tags for this stuff printed here. Um, hopefully in the next few minutes, uh, Ryan and Abby both should be here pretty soon. And uh, unless Ryan is staying home sick, I'm not sure. He's still not feeling too hot. Um, I haven't heard from him, though, so I'm assuming he's coming in. But uh, I'm going to get tags printed. As soon as he gets here, he can start putting them on. So I was talking with someone through email about doing a potential trade for the King of Fighters game for Saturn that we got in. Um, I have no idea what happened. I hit some random button combination on the computer, and the email is gone. It's not in my trash, it's not in the junk, it's not in my inbox, it's nowhere to be found. I really have no idea what happened, I don't even know which buttons I hit. Um, I just like fat fingered it when I was trying to tr do something else. Um, so if that was you that, we're, that I was talking to, please send me another email because I do not have it and I have no way of getting a hold of you. I actually forgot to film this stuff earlier and we've already gotten it into the system. We were about to put it away and I was like, wait a minute, I didn't do that. So. In addition to what's here, because some stuff has already been put away, we got in a copy of Def Jam Fight for New York for PS2, complete black label. Uh, we also got Resident Evil 3 Nemesis for PS1, and then a couple, like, $3 Game Boy Advance games, like Monsters, Inc., and a couple other ones. And then a black GameCube system with three controllers, cables, um, and then it came with two receivers for WaveBird controllers, but there were no controllers. Luckily, we have plenty of extras, so right now... We actually have four receivers, and we just have to get them tested up with controllers, and then those can go out, which is awesome. But we got the black Wii U here, complete in box. That's two boxed Wii U's in less than 24 hours, which is kind of weird. Um, and then we got some GameCube games. So we have Simpsons Hit and Run, Attack the Great Juju Challenge, Super Monkey Ball 2, Super Bubble Pop, uh, the promo disc for Rubble Strike, and Rebel Strike. Actually, a couple of these might have been from yesterday. They kind of got mixed together. Uh, Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, Spider-Man 2, Sonic Mega Collection, Shrek 2, R Racing Evolution, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, Pac-Man Fever, Need for Speed Underground, Mario Kart Double Dash, Madagascar, and Lego Star Wars. Now, there were two other games included here that um, I needed for the collection. So we have Barnyard and Finding Nemo, which I'm holding on to. Um, since I'm going to be focusing on GameCube next, I've decided that whenever a bundle of GameCube games like this gets traded in, I'll just keep the ones that I need from it, which 
you know, mostly are just going to be filler titles. I think we already have copies of Finding Nemo out anyway, so it's not a not a big deal. But uh, yeah, some pretty cool stuff here. We have one last trade-in for today. We got an Atari 7800 with two controllers, no cables though. I'm pretty sure we have an extra power cable, and the AV cable can just use an NES one. RF. Uh, we got a GameCube power cable, four GameCube memory cards, all third party, and then some Atari games. We have Alien for 2600, Infiltrate, uh, Speedway 2, Space Jockey, and then Pole Position 2 for the 7800. Um, guy that brought this in had a huge tub of stuff, but it was a lot of tangled cables. Some consoles that we it we don't need. Okay. It just smelled really bad, and I had to go get Cooper because I was afraid I was going to vomit on the person. <laughs> it was bad. There is definitely a smell, um, so I was extremely picky. There was a GameCube, an original Xbox, a 360. There was cables for, like, PS2. There was some some Xbox, Xbox 360, and PS3 games, and some more Atari games. I was extremely selective and just picked out this stuff. Um, as soon as I'm done filming in here, we're going to have to put it into this tub and like more. seal up the top of it and put some uh, dryer sheets in there. And we're going to have to leave it like that for probably a couple weeks, um, unfortunately. And this is not like a super uncommon thing to happen. Um, just, I don't know. I mean... The, the smell is not as bad as Abby thinks it is. I'm more sensitive than you are about smells. Abby is very sensitive to smells, but like I have smelled I'll this smell, smell before. And you'll be like, I don't smell anything. And I'm like, it's so bad. <laughs> I've smelled this smell before on other video game stuff that we've gotten traded in, though. Yeah, it's a crack house. So. <laughs> kind of smells like a crack house. Anyway. I um, don't know what a crack house smells like, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the the 7800 is at least clean. So um, once we get the smell out, then it should be good to go. Obviously, I wasn't able to test it, so um, I just had to assume that it may not work. And I'm assuming that at least one of the controllers is not going to work because they never do. But uh, once we get this thing boxed up for a couple weeks, the smell should be gone. And then from there, we can clean and test everything, and it should be good to go. You know, the games are probably fine. The memory cards are probably fine. It's just the 7800 that I'm a little worried about. But we didn't pay too much for it because of that. Plus, it's missing the cables, like I said. So how did you guys enjoy the GameStop video? It's finally up. If you guys didn't see, it got uploaded earlier today um, from the time that you're seeing this. Uh, for me filming right now, it's not going up till tomorrow. But uh, the video is out, so go on the channel, check it out. It ended up being over an hour long. I spent... My guess is probably 10 to 12 hours on editing. And I know that that, could, like, you could edit a 10-hour video in just a couple days, but I only, you know, I only have so much time being at the store and everything. So it took me forever. Uh, people, kept, people kept asking about it, like, oh, where it is? Or where is it? Where is it? But when Abby got sick, um, I had no time to do it because I would be working on it here at the store, but I can't really do that when I'm out here running the register and stuff. So... Um, it took a long time, but as a little bonus for you guys, I filmed a second one because <laughs> I told you guys GameStop was doing their buy two, get two free sale. So what I did was I ordered stuff from that. It all came in today. We just set up here and filmed it. It's not going to be like the first one because it took way too long to edit. So I'm not going to be editing it in that style. And uh, obviously it was way shorter. I think we filmed the whole thing in like 18 minutes, but... Um, once I edit it, it should be like 12 minutes or so. So still hopefully a cool video that you guys are looking forward to. That one might come out tomorrow. Not 100% sure yet, but most likely tomorrow, which would be Sunday. So if you guys are looking forward to that, feel free to smack that like button. So just got home, and I told you guys the other day that I bought a sealed copy of Evolution Skate or Snowboarding off of Amazon, and this is what came. First of all, it's all ripped up. This is not a legit seal. This is a reseal. And it's all ripped up anyway. Um, so I'm going to have to return this, unfortunately. Really sucks, but, I mean, this is clearly not a legit seal. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is horrible. Uh, but we also got a couple boxes from Skybound. Um, they're the people that were releasing the... Um, 
the Baldur's Gate uh, special edition for the Switch. So uh, we got two of these here. I'm going to grab a knife. We'll cut these open and see what's inside. All right. So I'm only going to open one of them on camera here because they're both going to be exactly the same. I ordered two copies and then this kind of sucks. They shipped the games a while ago and then said they had some production delays with the collector's edition like pieces of it. So they were sending those later. What really sucks though is that um, I'll see when I open it, but um, according to that, the game would not be included inside the special edition or all the pieces of the special edition would just be loose, which I hope that's not the case because that's kind of lame. It's, it's cool to have everything like in one sealed package together. So we'll see how it comes. So it is sealed, but here it is. This is huge. So Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 Enhanced Edition. Um, it does have one seal right here that is sealing the box. There's the, the bottom. So I'm curious to know, um, I don't really want to open this one because I'd like to keep it sealed for the collection. Um, but I'll have to look up a video of someone unboxing it and see if the game is in here or not. Cause so these are the, here's Abby. Ooh, those are pretty. Yeah, but this is sealed. The box, the games aren't in there. They told, they said that the because well, they said like this thing wasn't up to their standards, right? Right. So I don't want to open it because. Well, we can just go look at some. Uh, yeah, I, I was going to look up a video. Um, Cause I was going to open it until they sent me the game by itself, so I just opened one of those. So I don't really have any desire to open this because you can only get this from Skybound's website and the pre-order sold out, so I'm I'm assuming that they're they're not cheap and I don't want to open it just to see if there's a game in there cuz Yeah, we'll just I'm wondering unboxing. Yeah, I'm wondering if the game that they sent us was like like an extra cuz I would assume a factory sealed collector's edition of this game should have the game inside and they actually sealed it, so is there a game in here? And did they send us like an extra copy early just because this wasn't up to their standards? Or is there really not a game in here? I don't know. So I'm gonna look up an unboxing and see if I can find one, uh, but this box looks awesome. I wish it had a little bit more info on the front. At least it has the name of the games on the side, but still very cool. Can see what I got? What did you get? I got cat socks you can be cat abby yeah in hmm. super mario 3d world yeah so are you gonna just leave this one well they're both the the, they're both the same thing so i really don't have a reason to open up the other one um i mean it'd be safer if you just put that in the yeah the closet it was shipped box. really well it had like this little piece of cardboard that like fit over it so the that's amazing the box wasn't hitting the inside of the shipping box. Did you explain the email to everybody? Yeah, I talked about it before too. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I'll look up an unboxing and see. Talking so, about socks, I love yours. Yeah, I'm wearing some of my Zelda socks Abby got me for Christmas. So, probably going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Um, Abby and I are going to probably watch some YouTube. I don't know if you're going to play Stardew or not. <laughs> yeah. I would assume yes. Last so. night, we got <laughs> home, and I was like awake for like 10 minutes. And I just out. Yeah. Because I got underneath my electric blanket. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> today's vlog. Really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smack the like button. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Boom.